a self-confessed middleman in the murder of Maltese journalist Daphne Caruana Galizia, has been found with stab wounds just hours before he was due to give evidence. Police say it appears the injuries were self-inflicted and that he's in a serious condition in hospital. Evidence given by Fuma has impl implicated businessman Jorgen Fenech in the car bombing, which killed the investigative journalist back in 2017. Well, joining me now in the studio is my colleague Ryan Thompson. Uh, Ryan, quite suspicious timing into this. Yeah, good morning, Tokes. Well, sources I've been speaking to in Valletta this morning saying it's really just another shocking twist in this saga that's been going on for months and years now. One of them even saying that Hollywood's best producer couldn't really write this twist in the whole saga. Uh, today was supposed to be a big day for testimony in the trial uh, of Jorgen Finesh. Melvin Tuma, the man who's accused of really being the middleman here, he was going to out Jorgen Finesh, saying that he was the one who provided the funding here. Uh, this was agreed to in his plea many, many months ago. Uh, of course, Jorgen Jorgen Finesh, he is the mastermind, the businessman who provided the funds. Uh, he's accused of organizing it because he didn't really like uh, what Daphne uh, Karuna Galizia had to say about him uh, in this investigative piece that she was working on for the Maltese Times. So there's still, that's really not a lot clear here about how this all went down, but there's two key points to emphasize here. The first is that we believe, according to Maltese police, that these wounds were self-inflicted. She was, uh, he was not attacked, and he was also important to emphasize here, under a 24-hour police watch. They were watching him, so it would have been difficult for a lot of this to go on. The idea is that he wouldn't uh, be able to commit suicide or really hurt himself. Uh, now, Maltese police didn't actually learn about this until his lawyer tried to call him to prep him for this big day of testimony. Uh, when he was unable to reach him, he reached out to the authorities and excuse me, got in touch. Uh, but apparently these injuries are quite serious, notably uh, to his abdomen and as well to his vocal cords. Indeed, another astonishing development in this case, Ryan. Thank you for looking at that for us.